best stage? Yeah, because under that. Yeah! Yeah! Hit it, Big Richie! It's time to come out the red, dude! <coughs> come on, dude. What? Remember to point number one. Give Bill the card for a sec. Let him hold the card, too. Like this, Bill, like this. Tell him it's ramp one, ramp one. Watch out. Oh, Bill, you're good, Bill. You're good, Bill. I hope you guys are having a good time. You had a good week at home. Cut it. Welcome to Polly Shore's Random Rants video podcast extraordinaire. It's where I randomly rant on what, Bill? On whatever goes through your crazy mind. There's not a lot of stuff that's planned here. We do what, Bill? Just randomly rant. And what are some of the topics? All right. Anyways, moving right, <laughs> <laughs> moving right along. Anyways, shit, what was my first thing I was supposed to say, Dave? I forgot. Oh, man. Fuck. Oh, yeah, you're supposed to say where people can find it. That's right, you guys. You can oh, find yeah. us all over the YouTube at Random Rants on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, everywhere. Yeah, so, Bill, tell us about our beautiful female guest. <laughs> we have a beautiful celebrity female guest. What do you think? Look straight away and tell them what's going on. Yes, we do. Christina P., born in Canada, raised in the Valley, Southern California, has a great podcast, Your Mom's Place, it, Your Mom's House, excuse yeah, me. Yeah, don't fuck that up, Bill. Oh, you got to be straight up to the camera. This is a oh, big star we have here. Oh, that's true. So Your go Mom's on straight house. up. What? Your Mom's House. And who is she married to? Tom Segura, comedian. Wow, wow, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, <laughs> A beautiful female comedian that I met many years ago at the beautiful, luxurious comedy store. Keep it going for Christina Pazinski, ladies and gentlemen. Coming out to you all, random rent. Oh, wait, Bill, Bill, Bill. You, you got a red carpet. Oh. Go, you got the red carpet. Get down on the knees. Okay, walk her down the red carpet. Ready? Take the pictures. Celebrity, celebrity. Wait, you gotta stay with your model. You're with your oh, model. Oh, Wow. Yeah, there, there you go. Celebrity. Everybody's a star here. Everybody's a star. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, wow. This is great. What do you think about that? This cut, is amazing. Cut, cut, cut. It's so glamorous. This is a beautiful <laughs> set. It's not a set. It's where I actually live. Right. Yeah. It's neat because you have your mattress on the floor. Just yes. like the guys I dated before I got married. Right. We're not going to talk about <laughs> We're gonna talk, talk about those guys. This is Christina yeah. Pazinski, Hi. ladies and gentlemen. She's a very, very funny comedian. I came to know Christina way before she got married to Tom Segura. A million it, years ago. Yeah, because I saw you first out on the scene back in the day. Can you tell us about that when we first met? The outside the comedy store, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I was like... You're getting your spot right sorry, there. Sorry, here's my Go. spot. Yeah. I believe I was fanboying out on you wow. because uh, Son-in-Law is my dad's favorite movie. Oh, wow. Of all time. Oh, wow. What's your dad's name? Art. Art, what's up, Art? Oh, Art. oh you just made his life. Art, what's up, Art? He really likes... So you're in, but we're, we're in Canada. We're in Canada. I was born in uh, Windsor, Ontario, okay, which wow. is across from beautiful Detroit. Have you been there? I don't. I don't. Canada's broken up in some weird provinces. 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 They don't do states yeah. like we do. Yeah. Where were you born? Um, I was born here in Hollywood. Lucky. My whole life. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Yes. That's yes. Bananas, yes. Bros. So you LA, came. So you came, yeah, yeah. 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 So you came from Canada. I how did, many I years ago? Okay, I was four years old when we moved four years to old. LA and yeah. we moved to the valley, and yeah. then I've stayed ever since. I love wow, it. Wow. Wow. So yeah, lucky. Well. Thank you. But here's the deal about sure. her, and I'll just say say it. Go ahead. I I'm someone that's been around comedy since I was a youngster, I and I remember her. seeing you, and you're very funny. Thank you. I you're appreciate You're very that. funny. Whether you're married to Tom, you're not married to Tom. Whether you're married to Bill, it doesn't matter here. She's a very funny, <laughs> she's a very funny, very funny, very Ooh, funny. Molly, you're so no. sweet. And, and, and then, then you, can I say something? But I thank you because you believed in me. Yeah. And you were instrumental in mm. me being at the store. And I remember. And I think that is yeah. like 
so special. So yeah. thank you for, yeah. for seeing that in a young comic. Yeah. You know, it doesn't always happen that way. Yeah. I got no. lucky. I got very yeah. lucky for you. Yeah, she's she's very, very, very funny. And I love you. she is married to the beautiful, <laughs> sweet Mr. Uh, Tom, Tom Segura. Seguera. Seguera. So that's yeah. it's kind of weird because if you think about it, there's a lot of females that are female comedians that are married to male comedians. What's that like? Female comedians married to male comedians. Wait, there's not many is what you're saying. No, there are. Wait, who else? Eliza Schlesinger. Eliza. Or no, wait, he's oh, but, not married. Oh, 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 no, no, saying. I'm sorry. Uh, 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 what's her name? Uh, fuck, what's her name? The little one that looks like my mom. Natasha? Uh, Natasha, yeah. Married she, to Moshe, so there's yeah. those two. And then who else is there? Famous married couple. I think comedian. that was it. I think that it. was a stupid segue. <laughs> Yo, that was a fucking stupid segue. <laughs> I think you need to play a sad Leave song. Leave it in oh, there. I fucked that That's up. That's hilarious. Yo. No, I fucked it up, dude. We have to start over. Something sad? Yeah, come okay. on. Sorry, he's going to do right. something sad. What I messed happened? that up. It wasn't Don't a good something. segue. You did great. That really? was natural. Here. Very natural. Here, be, no, you, you're not going to edit this out, are you? This is the best part fuck, of the show. People love seeing fuck ups. Don't edit this. I messed up. I didn't prepare properly. I messed up. I didn't prepare properly. I messed up. I thought they were way more comedians married to comedians. But I guess what, Bill? What's that? I guess what? Not. I guess not. Go to the fucking back. Anyways. So, so yeah. You, you no, we don't edit anything out. Are you flogging out. yourself? Okay, good. We yeah, don't. don't, edit don't. No, there's, there's very few of us. And I think because it usually doesn't work, because you have two egos mm. that are generally sucking each other's essences out. Yeah. But Tom and I, uh, for some reason, we can turn it off when we're wow. home, which is a miracle. Have You're you able to shift. Yeah, we, we're different shift. people yeah. behind closed doors, definitely. Yeah. I always thought it would, it would be actually a good thing to be married to a female, or for obviously me to marry to a female comedian, because when you go on the road, you're not like, you know, you, you're with together, you do your shows, you go to the, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like awesome. It's awesome. But you know it, is, it is awesome because we understand the lifestyle. Mm. So none of us is going to be like, why aren't you home? Why right. aren't you here raising yeah. your kids? Yeah. You know, or why, why are you, you abandoning Polly, us? Why are you yeah. at Polly Shore's apartment right. in Silver Lake in right. the middle of the fucking afternoon right. where you're supposed to be at home breastfeeding? Cooking, cleaning, cleaning. yeah! So you told Tom that you're coming to see me? Yeah, he's very jealous. He is? He's going to... He said he's gonna come over and take a shirt off and scream outside yeah. in the street. Why? No, but we, but so, so since you're here yeah. with me, do you think he's with like strippers at some strip yeah, club? Yeah, always. But right. we, have, you know, if it's a different zip code, it's okay. Yeah. And as long as he wears a rubber, it's yeah. Fine. Just so, kidding. I'm totally kidding. That's yeah. not a license. Now. So wait, did you never date a female comic? Did you ever date a female? <laughs> Any funny ladies, no, actresses? No. No. I'm trying to like get Whitney Cummings pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think, I it'd think be good. you could. I think, yeah. I think. Are you friends with her? Yeah, I love her. Yeah. Well, you maybe you should, because she's. <laughs> she, I watch her on her Instagram and all her stuff, and I don't want to say anything. I, I mean, I've known her for longer than anyone's known her at the store. Yeah. I mean, I was. She was on Minding the Store, which was a TV show. Yes, I remember that. I did 2005, that. but um, she's she's an old friend from from back in the day. But I see her now, and I know she was on Raya, which is like a celebrity dating app. Are you on it? No, Ryan? I'm not on it. No, I'm not. Yeah, I'm on it. Anyways, <laughs> so so I saw her. I saw her, and I see her out there, and she's going out with these guys, and now she's like posting all these videos with her dog, yeah. and she's this, and she's that, and she's like looking. I feel like she's like putting it out there. That she so, wants to be impregnated by, by Polly Shore. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And you think that's what playing with dogs means? I, I want to get impregnated. Bill, do you think that's what it means? I don't think so. Oh, okay. I don't think so. No. Yeah, um, I don't. I don't know. I think I, you guys would make great parents. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, That's horrible. And then, um, and then you got uh, you got yeah. who else do you have? You have Natasha. She's married to Mo Moshe, Moshe. Cash. Yeah. the very funny. The two of them. Uh huh. But then I don't know who else. Well, I know Gracie uh, Allen and. No, you got you got Tommy Chong. Is was he? married. Yeah, married to a female comedian as well. Really? Yeah. Who? I forgot her name, but that that was her. That was his. his oh, yeah, I yeah, didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. So, so it's cool being very married. To, so before you were married to Tom, yeah. did you? You're a very beautiful girl. Thank you're, you. You're, you're out there doing your show, blonde you. girl on stage, oh, it's the worst. glistening, yeah. Yeah. lights, hot yeah. kind of breastesses. It's the worst. And da 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 da. <laughs> yeah. And you're out there da da yeah. da. And then what happens after the show? When I, when I was did single? you ever? Ha yeah. Did you ever oh, have sex with any? Of, did you ever? Have, wait, let me, wait yeah. three seconds to answer. Don't okay. answer it right okay. now. Okay. When you were touring before you met Tom Segura and you were married and you're happily married with babies and all that stuff now. Yeah. And you were on stage and you were touring, you were probably in your early 20s, right? Yeah. Mid-20s. Mid yeah. And you are hot. 
yeah. in your own stage. And after the show, guys, you're, you know, did they try to have sex with you? Number one. And number two, did you have sex with them? <laughs> wait three seconds. <laughs> Why wait three seconds? Because I want you to think about it. No, the answer is no. Never. I never banged, uh, I never banged an audience member wow. or a fan. Wow. We have to understand, I, Tom and I started dating very early in comedy. Oh, wow. So I was lucky in that I was uh -huh. Tom Segura's girlfriend wow. back then. Wow. So if someone was going to fuck with me, they knew that Tom would probably kill him. Wow. So that was do you great. Think gonna kill him. Do you think Tom's going to kill, kill me you? just asking yeah. about this stuff? Yeah. I really? never banged another comic. You See, know what's Tom, funny? I, I got it out of her, bro. You should be <laughs> fucking happy for me. It's probably now. Um, so you never banged a comic. You no. never banged a groupie. No, never. A Pazina Skakrinsky groupie. No, no. I made out with a guy from Road Rules when I was on Road Rules okay. years ago. Yeah. But you know what? I'm very prude. I'm actually wow. very square. Back in the day, you were. Because I'm afraid of catching AIDS and yeah. STDs. Well, you might get stuff. it just being next to me. So, I mean, this whole place is covered, <laughs> infected with AIDS. Uh, what Isn't do you it? do here? These I can't AIDS right there, Bill, AIDS. right? Aren't oh, you definitely. like a walking AIDS molecule? Oh, that's, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's me. God. Do you bring your ladies, do you, do you bed them here or there's another bed? Yeah, too? I go back and you forth. You go back and yeah, forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, like it, I like it better that way. <laughs> no, sometimes I'll like... Sometimes I'll, uh, I'll have a girlfriend over yeah. and we'll stay in there. In the right. middle of the night, I'll go to take a pee mm -hmm. and then I'll cut to this. Or, Dave, you want to cut to this bed so they could see? Yeah, yeah. And then I'll, I'll come and then I'll sit over on that bed. Just for fun? Just in no, the some, of the No, night? the second half of the night, I sleep there. Why? I don't know. Because it's my place and I can sleep where I want. Afraid of intimacy? Yeah. No, sometimes they want to be left alone too. Mm. Really? really? Yeah. Are these prostitutes or regular Whoa, whoa, ladies? whoa, whoa. I'm not what? with any prostitutes. No, but you know I mean? I think regular, don't most people, guys, don't you want to snuggle and stuff? I, I like mm. a snuggle. Are you not a snuggler? Sometimes, but then after a while, I like to, I like to stay over there. I like to stay over there. So when, so how so long ago did you guys get married? How long ago did you guys get married? 2008. 2000. Oh, wow. It's been a while. It's been a while. And we've been, we were together for four years before. So what is that? 15 years. Yeah. Right? And, and you, and you live deep in the valley. Deep, deep valley. Deep, deep in the valley. 818. 818. And, but you're in Silver Lake. So this yeah, makes I you, tell it. me, tell them what you said when you first oh. came in here. Well, it reminds this me. Is, tell them what Silver Lake is. Cause I have a lot of Trump supporters that follow me. <laughs> <laughs> I like the people in the middle of the country, man. They tout like yeah. this, man. The weasel's yeah. up there yeah. doing his motherfucking oh, thing. She's weasel. fucking wild, motherfuckers. She is. So well, tell us about what Silver Lake is. So yeah, Silver it used Lake, to be here. I used to live, Tom and I actually lived here before we had kids. I used to live here when I was cool and single. And it's the hippest neighborhood. It's yeah. the coolest neighborhood, I think, in LA. Yeah. And you can, and there's like alt kids, and there's some, yeah. you know, gay bear dudes in leather vests. Have you seen yeah. the leather daddy guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then and and Trader Joe's yeah, yeah, yeah. and the reservoir. Do yeah, you walk yeah. the reservoir every day? Yeah. Are you doing that? Yeah, I got my bike. I, I tool around the reservoir and stuff. I yeah, love yeah, that's that great. Stuff. It's that's fantastic. so fun. And it's like older and rusticy and yeah. crunchy. So is there any way that you would leave the valley to 818 to no. come back to this area? Never. Really? Never. Do you I think, to, where's Tom from? Florida. Oh, God. I know. Which part? <laughs> Which I know, God. <laughs> <laughs> Which part of Florida? I, um, well, I can't want to say because that's where East his parents Coast, are still. Coast. It's down. Oh, it's southern. is it by? Oh, is it Naples or something? No. You don't even know where I your don't fucking know. I husband is. I can't say. I can't say. Oh, I don't want to say because his private. parents are yeah, there, and private. I don't want to like. They're old and stuff. I understand. You don't want to. This is the coolest neighborhood. Do you yeah. skateboard and stuff? No, I, I just saw. no. I go down on my bike. Yeah. Yeah. This is. I kind of feel like you know Robin Williams when he was like in his. I'm 52. Yeah. So like Robin Williams when he was like in his 50s or 60s. He was always tooling around San Francisco. In San Francisco, I used to see him when I lived in San Francisco, yeah. and he would stop and get a burrito and stuff. Yeah. Um, so I feel I like say? I feel like that. Yeah. Yeah. This is when I was like hip. Before I had children, I lived yeah. here. And it you didn't have sex with any hipsters either. No. Tom, no. I'm really helping no, you out, I Tom. If you're you if you're out there <laughs> listening to Random Rants, I know you're a big fan <laughs> of my podcast. You're, you've de-virginized your wife, bro. He kind of did. I'll tell you've you de-virginized your wife. No, he did. Because here's the thing. I had Wait, boyfriends. really quick. Hey, Dave, yeah. are we good on our, our marks? I think everything's fucked up here. I, I'm doing my best. We just started this new setup You guys setup are looking it. pretty good, man. But are you cutting, or is your cutting ability good, or is it I'm screwed? good. I'm on you right now, and I just cut to Christina just now. It looks okay, pretty cool. good. Okay, so, cool. So go on. So, so here's the deal. So we yeah. hooked up. I was 28 years old. Oh, wow. So 
we've been together since we were kids, wow, really. Wow. So I, I never even made out with another male comic. But I did have male comedian friends in Silver Lake, mm. and your pad is reminiscent uh -huh. of that 20-something so year here. old. Yeah. A lot of hair yeah. on the f on the ground usually yeah. in the bathroom, but you're very clean. I'm very yeah. surprised. Well, I had my ha my housekeeper was here, so you have a housekeeper. Yeah, That's I've always nice. had a housekeeper. Mm -hmm. And who so. who designed your your interior designer? Well, Who's I just kind of take gummies and then I just start moving shit around. <laughs> <laughs> you know and I, I, mean? I like how you're keeping your window open. Yeah, with a, pi so, a picture. So the That's thing. Neat. So the thing that I really like about Tom, I mean, I don't know him too well. Yeah, he's you great. The thing that I really like about him when I see him, he seems so soft. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you just mean? like soft and kind of doughy face, and his, his little his little face, his little bald head. You know, he's like soft. He's like sweet. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I thought you meant. No, yeah. not his penis. No, right. soft, like soft, like heartfelt, <laughs> soft. Like he's sweet. You know what I mean? Like. But really a lot sweet. of people say the opposite that yeah. he looks really intimidating no. and mean and angry. And I think it's because, deep, yeah, he's full of rage, like we all are. Yeah, like he gets so mad then at he's, the... So then he looks soft at me, but it's just an act. Yeah. No. Right, he, so he's he, fucking crazy. Fucking crazy. Oh, like wow. he would so he stab to, a so barista to death oh, wow. if they got his drink order wrong. Like wow. that's what I'm dealing with oh. on a daily basis. So he's kind of like that Michael Douglas movie. What is it when he... Falling goes? down. So he's falling down. He plays down. that on a loop. Well, my husband has a favorite serial killer. Oh, wow. Do you have a favorite serial killer? Mm, I like the guy. Uh, well, <laughs> the real fuck. What's his, Richard Ramirez was pretty fucking. <gasps> oh, wild. the Night Stalker. Yeah, yeah, he Cause was he was loved. an LA guy. Yeah. I feel like that's part of our childhood. It is part of our childhood. Yeah. Did you hey, have to sleep with your windows locked? Remember? Hey, Bill. Oh yes. You know what time it is, right? Oh yes. What time, time is it? Rent number two. Oh. Are we moving? See your dancing, Mrs. Girl. It's a little dance party thing too. You can do a little dance for that camera. That's a good right. thing. Everyone looks cool in that camera. Put your glasses on. Right here. Right here. Right here. This reminds me of the 90s. This is MTV. Oh, Spring Break. Right. Motherfuckers, we're turning up in Silver Lake, bitches. All right. All right, here we go, back. Yeah, let's go. They're back here. See, they got the sign. Oh, we're at number two. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How many shows did you look up with? What? The spring break shows. Oh my shows. god. Lame it, bro. This is awesome. All right, cut, cut, cut. This is awesome. So it all stems from Mr. Joe Rogan, kind of. Everything. In a way. All the podcasting yeah. world. The yeah. pod father is Joe Rogan. Yeah. And yeah. we got started because Joe knew both Tom and I, and he was like, you guys are married. Uh-huh. You should do a podcast. When and did he say this to you? This is, oh, God, eight years so ago. So for the pe a lot of my people know your podcast, yes, but your explain to them. Ooh, can I drink something? Of course. Explain to them. Oh, God. Is that no? It's good. It's good. Explain to them what your mom's house is and how Joe oh. told you to. So, so your mom's house podcast is a show I do with my husband Tom Segura, and it started about eight years ago when Joe Rogan suggested we do it. God eight years? Joe you guys Rogan. been doing it fucking eight years? Yeah. So we're like one of the early whatevers, early adapters. And because of Joe, we started it here in Silver Lake, actually. Really? Now that I think about it, this is the birthplace. They should rename Silver Lake the birthplace of your mom's house. Okay. And we started it in our crappy little apartment here. You and Tom? Yes. And the, our neighbor would cook. And just so you know, food. every show, every show, podcast I do, I always kind of prepare some, some sort of food. Oh, okay. You know what, what are you mean? making me? I just got a little guacamole and chips. Oh, I love chips and guacamole. And then you, got, you can my do a favorite. shot. Yeah, Cheers. That's good. Cheers, motherfuckers. Are you doing, but... You know what I'm saying? So, and these are fresh. I got Let these because I knew you were coming. Oh, well, thank these you. These are good. You're such a good host. Yeah, these are good. These What's are fresh. with the bread and the bags? These? What are you doing well, there? Well, this is one day I'm going to have children and I'm going to no, make sandwiches. Not. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm going to no, make sandwiches not. for my kids. This I'm preparing. Is, you're pre <laughs> Once you impregnate Whitney? Yeah, Whitney Cummings, dude. No, for real. You got to make that happen. Financially, it's going to work for both of us. <laughs> 
It's more of a financial thing, really. I can't even look at but you. But she's like mad at me about it. Why? I think I don't know. I think she should just embrace it and stop fucking being a little bitch about I it. I think you'd be a great father, and I think you guys would make a great couple. And that, I don't know what we the don't have to be married is. together and all the that no. stuff. But just like my semen, her egg, and mix that shit. Let up. me see. She's very tall and slender. That's what I'm saying. It's you perfect. have very good looks as well. You guys are Thank both you. highly intelligent. Yeah. I think it could work out. Well, tell do you like her, horses, though? Yeah, she I do likes like horses. A lot. Yeah. But Whitney likes... Whitney, does he like horses as much as you? I but think. I just think she should stop fucking beating around the bush and try to stop dicking around with these, like, actor guys or model fucking guys that she fucks with. She you doesn't fuck I mean? model guys. Whatever she goes. She always goes out there like, this is... I'll be backstage in the main room. You know, we're all back there conversing about to go on. She's like, this is Skip. We've been <laughs> dating for... And I'm like, you're wasting your fucking time. Just take my semen and let's rock and roll. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> so go on. So the Joe, Joe Rogan uh, Coalition. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe you told Whitney to take your semen. She should take it. And I think she Dude, should. Dude, we don't have well, time. She's getting older. Let's it, fucking be well, honest. And, and I'm terms, getting older. <laughs> in terms of comedy, too, you guys would make the funniest, craziest child, right? Yeah. It's so great. It'd be really either that or really quiet. I know. Well, no, because my kids are crazy. Both of them are crazy in different ways. Because Tom and I, are, what are you doing? Are you I'm trying to open team? this. You thing. need help. Let a mom yeah. help you. You need a mom. Be careful with that. Ah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah. So this Watch is where this. I prepare Ooh, I like food Cholula. for my dad. Get whoa, 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 no! Don't do that shit. Why? Why? Oh, here, I got Give it to it. me. I, got... I can do it. What the fuck, dude? I'm not R-worded. I can. Tom, do this. she said she'd do it. I didn't say she would do it. <laughs> I just don't want to. I don't want to call me out. You don't cook. Do you cook? Of course. What do you really cook? Tell me. I can me. cook anything. No, what do you make? What are you going to eat tonight? Be honest. You're going to go down to Yucas. To what? Yucas on um, Los Bills Boulevard and Hillhurst. Okay. Where do you get your there. burritos from in this neighborhood? There's nothing but oh. like good Mexican food here. I don't know. I mix it up. There's there's a place, uh, uh, El Condor, right down the street. Yeah, that's a good one. That's I a like good that one. one. So you like a little of this stuff. I so like go. a lot of heat on there. Okay, so tell me about, so so eight years ago so, I'm still really. Woo! What happened? So, eight years ago, Joe Rogan told Tom and I to start a podcast. Thank you, Joe How Rogan. How did he say it? He goes... And where were you guys? So, so he called Tom because he had just seen me at the comedy store, Joe, and he goes, bro, your fucking wife's funny. Yeah, you're very funny. You should have a fucking podcast. And then Tom told me, and then I went, what's a podcast? Right. And then Brian Redband invited us to his house because he was producing them at the time, mm -hmm. and we sat on his disgusting couch in the valley. Mm. And we did the first episodes of your mom's house. Wow. And that was it. We talked about drugs and masturbating and mm -hmm. farts. And we still do. It's the house that farts built. We just talk about farts all the yeah, time. Yeah, you guys do like that it's stuff. It's caca, poo poo. Yeah, what do you think is funnier, fart or dick jokes? Thank you. Well, oh, I'm so excited. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Yeah. Um, I don't know. To be honest, I don't really like Ooh, fart. So I don't really like fart jokes. You're not into pooping. No. You're into dick. Dick joke. I find so you know I got that from my mom. Why? My she... mom always didn't like people telling fart jokes on stage. Really? She's basically, if you were a comedian, like yeah. for instance, Burt Kreischer goes on stage at the store with no shirt on. Yeah. If my mom was there, she wouldn't allow that. No shit. Period. No. No shit. Mm -mm. So you think Burt would be the first comedian to get kicked out of the comedy store because he's fat or because he's racist or both? What do you think? No. I think he's hilarious. I just think that, I know my mom, what the fuck are you doing? Wear a fucking shirt on, you pig. She would say. Why are you talking about farts? That's disgusting. What she would say to you if you were talking about I farts. I talk about farts a lot. Your mother would not have no, liked it. Uh -uh. What does she like? What was the thing that she... She would like all your other stuff. Just not There's just little things. Like, I used to do those type... Hey, well, here, come into the yeah. glory hall Sorry. area. Oh, the glory hall. Mm -hmm. This reminds me so much of my single silver lady. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I like it's it. Anyway. No, I'm kind of into it. Yeah. I haven't been this close to another man That's since 2005. Saying. <laughs> really? I mean, I haven't been with another man since I was, all five. Because again, I don't know Tom that well, yeah. and I was a little concerned because I know. I mean, I'm not touchy feely, but I know that I'm like very affectionate, no. and I didn't want Tom to think that I was. Do, you know I what I mean? I don't think so. Yeah. I've got such mom vibes. I don't think people. Lean in. Oh, here. There you go. That's yeah. the glory hole, though. Oh. If you had a penis. You put your painter there. And there's a girl that's under the dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> this is a girl so that's juvenile. I mean, <laughs> who's your soulmate? Who's a woman? Bobby Lee. Yeah, mm -hmm. I see that. What kind of woman would you have to marry to have children with? Let's be honest. Like, really? Well, somebody silly. 
They have to be so silly. Someone that definitely lets me be me. Yeah. You know, someone that's not going to put strings on. My mom never supported getting married. My Ever. mom is the opposite. Really? You know, stay away. Don't get married. Well, that's the because word. your dad and her, from what I understand, had a pretty rocky relationship, right? Yeah. Yeah, but she says that, that relationships stifle. Stifle. She says, it stifles you. You know what I mean? Is what she says. That's really healthy. That's <laughs> really good equation. Well, that's why I'm fucking by myself in Silver Lake in a fucking apartment. <laughs> eating fucking Toritos Can I have some shit. more? These are yeah, great. these are good. These are like real chips. I know. No, my but, parents had a shitty thing too, but you know. But okay, I see you with but, like a 20-year-old yoga instructor maybe. Mm -hmm. Have you dated that before? Yeah. You know, I've had... Who's the love of your life? Did you have a, did you ever have a big love? Well, I had a girlfriend that I was seeing for a while, but, and I did love her, and I love being with her, but I don't want to say she was an alcoholic, you know what I mean? But she was kind of, like, she, she wet my bed and stuff a couple oh, times. Oh, no. And, like, do you see this bottle right here, this Casamigos? Mm -hmm. Do you see this right here? That's her pee? So basically what happened was is, is on my birthday, a friend of mine gave me Casamigos and she drank the whole thing. My girlfriend drank the whole thing. That's not good. And then she, she said, I, I you know, yelled at her. I said, that was a present and what the fuck? And you drank the whole thing. And then she replaced it. She gave me a replacement bottle, right? Right. But then she fucking drank the replacement bottle. <laughs> <So> I was like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, I get you. So that, like, that's not good. Yeah, I don't want to be babysitting. I don't want to be no. babysitting anyone. No, that's no good. You don't need that. No, yeah, so... Too much heartache. I, lo I love her, but... Yeah. No, I hear you. Um, and then there's also... I don't trust a lot of girls, and I don't trust myself. What don't you trust yourself about? Even now, at your adult age, you don't... You know yourself well. Mm -hmm. You're no longer a 20-year-old. You know? I think... What would happen is if I, if I found a girl and I thought she was the one, then I would trust myself. Oh. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Sure. So you trust yourself to like open yourself to her, you mean? No, to be faithful to. Oh, to fucking. Yeah. Still, you're still all about the dick right now, pussies? Really? Some guys are not meant to marry. My dad's the same way. Mm. He's just like crushing puss since he was born can't can't commit to one i mean he can for a while but some guys are just not meant to yeah what was up with ari yeah. what was up with ari and burt Kreischer? don't even ask me what, what the that. fuck is that they, uh, ari dosed burt ari dosed him at uh burt's house when his kids were around <laughs> I think I put some stuff in the guacamole. No, 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 no. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, my God. You did. Oh, my God. Tell, tell, him, tell, him tell, him tell, him tell him what happened. Tell him what happened. No. I would have never stop. No, I didn't dose you. But I would go crazy. <laughs> no, I know. That would be fucked up. All right. Tell then them Tom what happened. Would fuck, then Tom would, would come at my... He'd kill me. He would murder you. No, so yeah. Ari dosed Bert with... Uh, was it ecstasy? I don't remember now. Even. What's up with Ari? I don't know. What's up with Ari? Let's you know he started with him. me. He you know started he was, with you? Yeah, he opened for me for years. Yeah. Yes, I do know that. And he sold. Know. Did he sell your merch and stuff? He toured with you. A little bit. He opened for me for a couple of times, but I love Ari. I do too. Like I love him. I love He's him like too. a true friend. So what do you think is going on? Because I can't. I think he's very anti-entertainment business. Right. First of all, I think he doesn't want to play by the rules. Yeah. And he's not about being political at all. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? He's yeah. not about like being like, hey, I'm going to touch this subject. Not, he doesn't want to dance around. He's like, this is it. Right. If you don't like it, fuck off. Right. You know? Which is very self-destructive. Mm. Right? Yeah, I hope, I hope, I don't know. I think he's really funny. And Yeah, he is. Um, but anyway. So, we Bill. This. this is yes. so good. Bill, number three, dude. Number three, Red. That's it. Come on, bring back. <laughs> Spring break show. I love you. Hi. Hi, guys. Did you go first? Oh, okay. Okay. Doesn't matter. Wait. Okay, Bill, that's it. It's getting awkward in here. Get out. Hi. So. I love this room. This is the mark of an adult when you have your own washer and dryer. You You gotta 
Set, set, set the music. Set the. What the fuck? Why do you keep fucking going so long? You know what I mean? The like, what? You should really talk to them about it. So, oh my God. No. So that's so that's crazy. So let's go back to Joe for a second, because I want yes. everyone to know where it started from. Because a yes. lot of people listening, they know Joe Rogan is, but he started the whole thing. He did. He started that. How, let's break he it did. down. If he was like the grandpa, he's the guy in charge, and you guys all sprinkled down. Yes. So, so you guys started eight years ago. He told you to do it. Yeah. And how has that changed your life? I mean, it's been everything. He's been everything because mm. now the um, podcasting audience is like. Mm. They're so loyal. They're mm. so diehard. When you mm. do a city, they come out like, and they know you. Mm. They know how many dumps I took yesterday. Wow. They know wow. like, wow. yeah, wow. it's so great for comedy. And we do owe everything to essentially Joe Rogan mm. and and that whole thing. He basically innovated this shit. Mm. Like he well, it was Mark, Mark first, and right? And Red Band. I think Mark, Marin's Mark the Manny. very first, and then Joe and Red Band, mm. I believe, were mm-hmm. like, let's get this equipment, and let's mm-hmm. just sit around and talk about stuff we want to talk about. And then this whole thing came. And, and how, did Tom, how did Tom meet Joe? Oh my gosh, oh! Tom won a comedy contest. Oh, that's hilarious. It was like, <laughs> yeah, it was for like Maxim Magazine or something. Okay. And he was on a, t- he won a spot on a tour, I believe, mm. with Joe and mm. like some other people. And then I think that's, they just I became believe, buddies, yeah. I believe. Because yeah. they're very, they have the same sensibility. They're, yeah. they've been, Joe's been really good to us yeah. and really cool and yeah. kind of a mentor, I think, yeah. to everybody. And then, and then Bert, how did, how did Joe hook up with Bert? This I, I don't know. You don't know. And then what about Tony? Like, yeah. Tony hooked up with Bert through the store. I know that. Right. Yeah. Through Tony's later. He's a younger puppy. Yeah. And he's killing it. Yeah. It's fucking yeah, crazy. Yeah, he's doing good. It's crazy. And then, um, and then so all you guys kind of branched off of that. And now yeah. you're just off kind of like doing your own thing. <laughs> yeah. And then what about acting and all that stuff? Because before the podcast, I know you were like auditioning a lot. And you were yeah. doing a little different. No more, right? I kind of. Yeah. Well, you know what it is. Mm. Is that the landscape of entertainment is mm. changing shifted, so yeah. much? Yeah, so for me to do some scripted thing, mm. I but do, do you, feel like it takes time away from the podcasting and standup, which is how we earn a living. Yeah. Like, have you ever act, money. Have you ever acted before? Yeah. And mm-hmm. what? I just did a. I had a small part in the movie Tom just did um, mm. Countdown. Uh-huh. And um, I'm trying to remember. I'm done like stupid shit. Wow. So, but you I'm like acting because I love acting. You, I you love, are I good love, at acting. acting. I'm okay at it. You're okay. But you're, you know what? You're an entertainer. Mm. Look at this fucking mm. place. You've got all these cameras. Mm. You're, you're concerned about angles mm. and lighting. Mm. That's your lane, yeah, bro. Yeah, that's my thing. Yeah. You make movies. Yeah, yeah, I make movies. Yeah. Yeah, and some pornos too in here too. You yeah. did? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So that's crazy. Your washing machine. Pornos. Yeah, and my washing machine. Oh my right god! There. Right Look there. at your view, bro. That's nice, right? Yeah. It's so so rad. yeah. So so and then as far as like um, other female comedians. Yeah. Support like which ones Always. do you really like? Okay, can I tell you what I'm doing? Oh, oh sorry, I should tell them. I'm I'm friends with Angela Johnson, mm. Nikki Glaser, Whitney Cummings, Ali Wong Baby is my, my mother. Homie. Baby my mother. <laughs> Go on. And um, I love them, and I want to have them over for like dinners mm. where we talk and have togetherness, because mm. there's so few of us. Mm. It's such rarefied air to mm. be a successful female comic. But I like them all. Mm. They're, they're all great. Eliza's great. Everybody's great. Yeah, Eliza's We're doing lucky. great, isn't it? Wow, killing it. I know it's great. I'm so Fucking happy killing for her. it, dude. Well, she's an actor. She loves yeah, to act. And she, stuff. Yeah, and I the, just enjoy podcasting yeah. so much. I like this. Uh huh. This is your thing. I like this. I want to be myself. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Right? Isn't uh-huh. this the best gig ever? Yeah, this is fun. No, yeah, this dude. Is, this is really fun. Mm-hmm. And then as far as PC stuff. Yeah. Do you ever, because I know it's like, a, obviously it's kind of a weird time. Like, do you yeah, feel weird sucks. when you go to the bathroom and you see the two genders thing <laughs> in the bathroom? No, you go in there, it's like gender free. I do. Do you feel I do. weird? Of course. Do you not yeah. feel weird? Because when I was growing up, if you took a girl in the guy's bathroom, you'd get arrested. Right. And now, like, you you know, now they arrest you if you don't go, you have to go in the <laughs> same bathroom. I know. Yeah. Well, I just don't want to go to the bathroom next to a guy taking a dump. Like, yeah. I don't want to be with dudes. Dudes right. are nasty. Right, right. Why do I want that? So why do they? Why are they doing that? It's just kind of the world. They don't do that like in Kentucky and shit. Gender neutral. Fuck gender. no. Yeah. I think because you know, I don't know. Don't and, ask. That's a loaded question. Yeah. Mm. Do we do that? The what do you think? What's going on? You know. And then what about when you um, when you uh, see? What about when you see like? Um, 
trash cans. Yeah. And you see like put this in that trash can, this in that <laughs> trash can, this in, and you just say fuck it. I don't know what the fuck. Is this biodegradable? Is it not bi you right. know what I'm it's saying? It's so binary. I know. No, you recycle. You uh, live in Silver Lake, you uh, have to uh -huh, recycle. Uh -huh. No, I'm a recycler. I compost. I you compost? I don't know what that means. You gotta put your vegetable scraps and your stuff in a oh, dirt and pile one thing. and then you oh, grow. Shit. Mm -hmm. See, I didn't you know. You gotta that. do that. I thought that was mandatory in Silver uh -huh. Lake. Why aren't you here, doing that? Here, let's cruise back here. Let's cruise, bro. Yo. Bro. Yo, Bill, uh, no, that was already ran three. Play some music. Oh. Play some music, bro. Wow. Cut, cut, cut. So let's lastly talk about surrogacy. So, okay, yeah. Surrogacy. Is that what you and Whitney are going to do? Well, no, this, I don't think she's going to want to have my baby. No. No, I don't think she's going to no. want it. But if, if we don't, if me and her yeah. don't have it, yeah. which as far as surrogacy, do you know about that? I didn't do that. But I was do you lucky. know about what it is? Oh, yeah, you, you hire someone to carry your baby. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's great. I think you should do it. Really? Are you, gonna, are you looking into it? Yes, it's a little, it's a little, um, uh, what's the word? Uh, it's expensive. <laughs> it's expensive. It's like $100,000. At least. Yeah. And do you trust it, that person? Yeah. That's the whole thing is like, I if you it. have the baby, you get the egg from here and you get your semen and then you put it in some other girl and then yep. you don't know if that girl is not doing methamphetamines or drinking or all that stuff. Right. But if my baby comes out the form, then what, Bill? Right. What's that, gonna happen? Then that's it, right? That's it. You're, you're stuck. You you're just got to. You're what? You're stuck, right? Why do you say stuck? That's that's the way it's supposed to be. Oh, okay. That was that was insensitive. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, if you have a baby with a b big head, then that's what. That's the way it's God willed it. That's <laughs> that's the way it's got to be. Right. And I was thinking, like, uh, if you have a baby with a big head, yeah, I think it's kind of cool in a way because if you go to the park. You know, a lot of guys like to use their dog, <laughs> you know what I mean, for, for, for meet girls. Right. And if you have a baby with a big head, that's what? That's kind of a talking point. Yeah, it's a good talking point. And you could be point. like, hey, yeah, dude, yeah. what's up with your crazy yeah. baby with a big head? Yeah, that's I crazy. agree. It's smart. So what do you guys think? Hey, Bill, want to read those comments really quick before oh, we wrap it up uh, here? Oh, here, Bill's going to just read a couple comments. Oh, no. From, from are, we, are we sure we want to hear what the public has to say? Yeah, here, come no, on, Bill. No, thanks. Yeah, okay. Bill's right. Oh, shit. Here we go. Right to that camera comments. right there. Okay, okay go okay, ahead. Here we the good go. ones first, right? Okay, yeah, the good ones oh, first. Oh, no. Uh, Jessica Marie Baumgartner says, Polly is like Bobby's adopted dad who's trying to feed him when he's already eaten. Ha ha. Okay. Referring to last week's uh, podcast. Oh, Bobby's oh, dad. Right. Oh, Bobby Lee, right, right. Yeah, you okay. kept trying to feed him, right? Okay, okay all, right. all right. And 1973 Deluxe says, oh, just boy. found this. Literally showed my wife her first Polly Shore movie last night. Hmm. We laughed through the entire thing, and I felt like I got to introduce her to something great that she somehow oh, missed. Oh, that's Aww, nice. That's Thanks, Bill. Yeah, that's Huge a good fan, one. Huge fan, new subscriber. Keep I, it I'm going. just having deja vu. I don't know if it's a good deja vu, though. That's oh, a good, well. that's a good <laughs> Okay, what else? Uh, oh, I got another good one here. A good, no, good a bad one. Oh, bad no. one. Yeah, bad one. Holly, okay. I can't. I'm too fragile. All right. There's okay. got, there can't be all positive. Oh, that's true. Well, okay. Yeah. You'll see how you asked when you hear this one. Keith McDonald says, if Paul was half as funny as he thinks he is, he mm. would be twice as funny as he really is. That's too, oh, that's too much to think about. Is, yeah. That's too much don't to think about. Don't make me do math for your yeah, insult, shit bird. Yeah, that's shit, man. Yeah. Fuck yeah. that. Don't okay. make me Thanks, think Bill. about it. Hey, let's play that, let's play that wrap up song here. Oh, here this is kind of here. thoughtful. I like yeah. this. So here's the part yeah. of the podcast where yeah. we kind of like yeah. get off ourselves yeah. because both of us have people that watch us yeah you know people watch you people watch me yeah people are going through whatever they're going through and it's good for us to help people as Always. well so I what would what helps you get through whatever it is that you're yeah. going through in okay. life okay you know and then also uh, tell them too yeah. to help them you know? up here right yeah. yeah you know i have to tell you it's so morbid i think about dying every day wow. i'm very existential i'm wow. very dark wow. i like to think about death because when i remind myself i'm gonna die mm. it allows me to live more fully right oh yeah because then you're hung up about this and that little thing this problem uh -huh. and then you go yeah but i'm gonna be on my deathbed right does it even fucking matter mm. if this doesn't go my way or whatever mm. you know what i'm saying yeah 
What do you do? So you say, so you basically say you're gonna die so it makes you wanna live? Yeah. It makes you die so it you wanna It live. reminds you, whatever it is that you're fucked up about, mm. it doesn't matter. Dude, you're gonna yeah. be on a deathbed and is it really that big yeah. in the grand scheme of things? That's, that's interesting because I yeah. came up with that more after both my parents passed. Same, yeah. Really? Are both your parents passed? No, no, just my mom. But wow. when she died, I, and then my stepdad died and I was like, oh wow, this isn't, Forever. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. how, that's what it is, guys. So what yeah. me and Christina, Christina and I <coughs> are basically Grammar. saying, you know, every day is a gift. That's right. Every day we're lucky to wake up. You open your eyes in the morning, you're like, holy shit. That's right. I can't believe it. Oh my it. God, I got, God gave me another day. Yeah. Because this is a wrap. At some point, we're going to get thrown into a box. And Literally. Then, and then people are going to cry for a week. A week? And then maybe they'll remember your birthday once in a while or maybe. one of your... Netflix specials will pop up and be like, oh, da, da, da. I have two, Mother Inferior and the Degenerates. Jesus Christ, she fucking, we're talking about death and sadness. <laughs> and she's like, oh, by the way, check out my Netflix special. <laughs> that was great. I also have a podcast called Where Are My Moms At? Yeah, if, yeah, you're, I, if you want to see that. Because yeah. I, yeah, it's and, weird, um, yeah. So, so do you, yeah. you have anything you want to say to Tom that you haven't that you haven't really said to him and how you feel about him mm -hmm. because I'm so happy for you guys. Really? Yeah, yeah, of course I am. I'm happy. I'm for really him, happy so. for you guys and you have two tell them, tell are you allowed to say the name of your kids? Yeah, or? yeah, Ellis and Julian. Well, and I remember your thing. first baby I met when I came to do your guys show. Yeah, Ellis. That, yeah. that was your first one. And so tell Tom what it's like to have him to have him. <laughs> no, no, come from the heart. To have him in your life. What's that like? <laughs> Tom, I'm looking out I for I could you, not do feelings. He can't do He it. better have my dinner ready when I get home. You're like Roseanne and shit. That's all I want. You're like, give me my fucking Just food. Just fucking feed me. Yeah. I can't tell feelings, Polly. I'm, I, I can't. You can't? I get so embarrassed, don't you? No, I want to know. I want him to feel that he No, loves don't make me do it. Please? All right. Just come on. I love you. I love you, Tom. Your beard is very full. I, can't, I really can't. Really? Don't make do, me. Do you say I this can't in front of um, people. Do you, do you say it in front of when you're with him? Yeah. You do? Yeah. yeah. But I can't do it right now in front of all these people commenting yeah. on the internet. Well, I'm, I'm happy that you guys found each other. So am I. And I'm happy I really that like you guys him. have two beautiful babies. I'm happy you. you guys live deep in the valley. Thank you. Deep, deep in the valley. <laughs> And, um, and I'm happy for you, and thank, thank you for coming to Thank Silver you for Lake. having me. I, I'm yeah. really amazed and impressed with your whole operation. It's pretty astounding. This thank is you. This is amazing. This is what happens when you have a lot of time on your hands. Yeah. yeah. You should come back on your mom's house, too, when you're ready. Uh, yeah, I would love to. You had to love plug to. this show. This so great. tell us where people can find you, and, oh, and tell oh. us about your tour dates, because oh. this is airing, yeah. April 7th, I'm in London. London, England. That's almost gone, anyway. But then, uh, oh. May 1st, I'm doing the Netflix is a Joke Festival. I'm headlining uh, the St. Regis. Get tickets in LA if you're local, and then all my dates are at Christina P. Online. Thank you for having yeah, me. I yeah. like your bicycle. You're so fast. We'll see you guys. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. Thank you for tuning Bye. in. Check me out on my Instagram, Polly Shore. Guys, you want to plug your stuff? Sure. Um, <laughs> I'm at Richie TV, R I C H W E T W E V W E. I'm at Esther Cuckoo. I'll be at uh, the Miami Improv May 21st and West Palm Beach Improv May 28th. Bill G. DeGiulio Music cool. on YouTube. Thank you. What's up, guys? DMB Imagery on Instagram. Thanks so much. Later, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Stay up, guys. Live another day. Bye. Stay up, guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Live, Bye. Live